and their regrets already and you know you just don't know <laughs> hey y'all welcome to the show Georgiana here this is the place where we talk about Nollywood movies black films and k-dramas and the life lessons we've learned from them how are y'all doing it is 2024 i think this is the third week into 2024 how is it going for you are you still excited are you still keeping resolutions if you do them or goals whatever it is that you do are you still sticking with it i hope you are because we are still early in this 2024 and i am super super excited about it all before we get into it, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not yet. We have some good shows in store for you this year and I'm super, super excited about it all. So go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button and share this video if you do like it. So you ready to talk about Navalera? It is the 2021 Netflix K-drama. The general synopsis says a 70-year-old man with a dream and a 23-year-old man with a gift lift each other out of harsh realities and rise to the challenges of becoming ballet dancers, which was really awesome. But my question to you today is, what do you regret? And wish you had a do-over of, right? I'm going to tell you mine towards the end of this video, but we all live with regrets. At work, it seemed like regret was like surrounding the walls, like the thoughts of it and people discussing what they wishing they had applied themselves more at school. And you can get kind of tangled in that and mixed up in that and it can hold you back and it can stop you from being your best self. Depression can creep in in that aspect. So what is it that you regret? I believe that first you have got to confront that thing that you regret. Whatever it is in your life that you regret, we all have them. You would be lying to yourself if you said you do not have any regret. Yes, we all know and we all believe that everything happens for a reason. But if you had known better, do you think you would not have done better? Like if you knew where you would be in life right now, what would you have done differently? If you really are honest with yourself, if you really take a true audit of your life, what is it that you regret? First, you have to start with being honest with yourself that you have that regret and that regret is holding you back. This 70 year old man, he had Alzheimer's and he always wanted to do ballet. And now at his older age, he's now going on the journey of doing it. And oh my goodness, did his families have opinion about that? The people that were in the ballet area, they had criticisms for him regarding that. But he did not allow that to stop him. He kept going. He kept doing his thing. And he held up. And he did not quit, even though the Alzheimer's was creeping in. He did not give up because he didn't want to live the end days of his life knowing that he didn't try. But he would now end his life knowing that he tried a ballet. And that would not be a regret at the end of his life. What do I regret? I regret quitting all the time when things got hard. Whether it was piano, whether it was a business, whether it was a relationship, I regret that. But there's nothing I can do about the past. I can only focus on where I am going. So going forward, knowing that I quit so many things and I don't want to regret quitting those good things, I want to now stay focused and be aware and be mindful that, hey, you can, you quit things too quickly. Hold on. Step in there. And it's not too late for me to learn piano if I wanted to. 
it's not too late for me to dip into another business if I wanted to. Yes, the, the regrets of the past might creep in a little bit. But the way to move forward is to take the fact that you could have done something differently and then apply that thing you could have done differently into your present. It hasn't been easy for me regretting being in the state of regret for the past few weeks. That's why I haven't been on here. Because I've just been regretting. I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that. But it doesn't profit me anything. So no matter what stage you are currently in your life, don't allow the poisonous infliction of regret to corrupt the good that you have in your life right now. Try to be in the moment. And whatever you need to do differently, go ahead and do it. But don't get to the stage of your life where it's all about to end. And you decide that now is the time to go for that thing I've always wanted to go for. It won't be easy. There will be challenges. But don't let regret be the word that comes out of your mouth at the end of the day. But be proactive. And do that thing that you want to do. And take it from me. You don't want regret. My action plan is to step out and to do that thing I need to do, no matter or regardless of where I am at in life. And I hope that you'll do the same. So before I leave you, I would like to encourage us with the scripture from Deuteronomy 20 verse 4, which says, For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to give you the victory. I believe that we have victory over regret, over its poisonous infliction. And we have to trust that. Because where you're at today can always change tomorrow. And you have the power to do that. So that is all for our show today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and definitely share with others. And also subscribe to this channel. And also guys, put in the comments below, what do you want me to watch and talk about life lessons for? Put your comments below. Tell me what you want to hear. Let me know and I will see what I can do about it. But guys, let's make 2024 a great, blessed, wonderful, epic, spectacular, magnificent, all the great words you can think about type of year. Love you guys. Until the next one, please take care of yourself and be kind to others. Bye-bye.